Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Freedom Beyond Journey's End episode 12. In the last episode, Freedom, Fern and Stark left the city um, with a, well, well uh, not welcoming, a, a glad farewell from uh, everybody that obviously lives there. And they were kind of praised as heroes after everything was sorted out. And then they're on their merry ways to get Freedom certified as a mage, which is kind of ridiculous in Fort, but you got to do what you got to do in the society that they live in, I suppose. Um, yeah, they went uh, through a very snowy kind of plain, like land, I guess. Got trapped. Uh, I had to stay in like one of those little survival huts. Found another elf who was apparently a lot older than Freedom, which is insane. And that elf was voiced by none other than Mr. Dio, Mr. Toji, you know. Um, good guy, really cool character. I hope we get to see him again. Um, but who knows? He did say maybe we'll see each other again in a few centuries. Um, but yeah, very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. A real hero. Oh shit. Oh, we're still in the snowy lands. 29, 29 years after the death of female hero. Damn, we're at 29 now. She's asleep while awake. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. He's a strong guy. Let him. What's the problem? Why? He's so strong. Why? She just really care about Freeran. She just wanted to be safe, I guess. Oh, it's a replica. Damn, and he would become the future hero. That's crazy. Damn, that's cool. They've known each other since they were kids. A fake priest? Yeah, he's a real priest. He's certified. Oh, Little free run smile right there. Aww. <laughs> you have indeed. <laughs> Bro, just let Star carry her. What the hell? Oh, she knows this path. That's why she said she recognizes it. <laughs> That's cute. Maybe it's just the creepy look he keeps giving her while he's trying to take her from her. He's not a perv. He's not going to fondle her. Come on. Bro's got strength. Her ears must be really cold as well. My ears got so cold in the winter. She's got big pointy ears. Who the fuck is this? Is she trying to get on her tippy toes? That's cute. Why is she the village chief? She's so small. And young. Oh, wow. Is it still here? Did he... Wait, did he melt... Pull it from the stone? On some Excalibur shit? He did? Oh my god. So wait, does Hemel still have it? Hemel was really him. That's crazy. <laughs> Aww. Is it still here then? Like, did Hemel return it after all this? Oh shit, let's go Stark. Oh damn. It's it's fun watching shit get obliterated by magic, but also I would love to see some really good Stark fights as well. Is he just gonna... Bam, Earth Smash, let's go. Oh, what the hell's gonna be in here then? Big bad? Stark, where did you get this confidence from? Aren't you usually afraid of monsters? Oh shit. Whoa, that's a big bad. It's not as bad as a dragon, though. Oh, the music's playing. Some some crazy shit's about to happen. Did he? Oh, ho, ho. let's go, Stark. I love the trust she has in him. Yo, they're so sick. This party's so powerful. Oh, what the fuck? So Hemel did return it. 
What? Himel of all people? Who the hell would pull this in? Who the hell, like, who the hell is pulling this sword then? Is it going to be Stark? Surely not. He, he's an axe guy. Yes, exactly. This thing looks battered considering all these creatures are fucking with it. G give it a give it a whirl, Stark, just to just to see. If Stark could pull this and Himel couldn't, that would be insane. I'm hella grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be late next time. Aww. Are they really leaving? Damn. I wanted them to try the sword. What? That's news. I suppose this isn't much of a big deal to her, like. Well, she's spry. What is she getting him? Yeah, the little cat face. Oh god. Yeah. And who's he going to use that on? Free runs a little freak. <laughs> Look at her face. She's going to smash that shit. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, now she's butt naked. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love them. They're so funny. What is this? What ring was that? Where is he? They're uh, just looking for everyone. And he's just like going around helping people on his birthday. Man's just enjoying the scenery. I want her. To fall for Stark. I'm putting that out there. Oh my god. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. That's just funny. That also, yeah, no, he's right. That does, yeah. He's 18. She's looking at you in disgust. <laughs> for a moment there, she was looking at him and smiling. So I'm guessing Fern's 18 as well, I assume. He didn't even know? Because it's your birthday. We need to get you a present. What the fuck? Oh, not even from Aizen? That's so sad. Aizen didn't even give you anything? Damn, bro. I want to see your backstory. He saw it like there was like a flash of it. Damn, this guy must be him. I suppose Stark didn't get stronger until he was trained by one of the heroes party. Is he related to Stark? Because they look alike. Yeah. Uh, so that's... Okay, yeah, that's his father. That's his older brother. I hope his older brother's nice to him. Oh, okay. His brother's a nice guy. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is what he saw. Fucking demon? Are you serious? Does he not know what monster it was? Because that definitely looked like a demon. I know the sword's just kind of like a way to, for him to think about what it means to be a hero. An email, but I still would have liked him to try the sword. <laughs> yeah, it looks expensive. <laughs> oh, he got us something though. Oh, she got him something though. Yeah, free rent cooking. Literally. Oh, that's cute. Wait, what? Oh, that's... 
That's nice. It's like a birthday present. Yeah, you're all warriors, even if you're not a part of the warrior class. Oh, <laughs> bro, that hit me in the feels. That hit him in the feels. Oh my god. God damn, these episodes hit, man. I wonder if Stark thinks his brother could be, could have been the one that drew the sword. If this man cries, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Get rid of that. <laughs> How is he a pair? Why are you so mean to him? Right, so that was Freedom Beyond Journey's End, episode 12. Another freaking good episode, man. Uh, we're back to, like, the normal, non-action-packed as the, the, you know, like, episode 8, 9, and 10 were um, episodes... There's still action here and there, which I like, but the main portion of the story is just these funny and then emotional moments, which just, they hit so hard. Very good episode. It was nice to learn more about Stark, learn more about Himel, about how he couldn't draw, draw the sword, but it didn't matter because he became the hero without this powerful weapon or this weapon that basically says you are the hero. So, yeah. Stark's gonna be that as well, which I really like. This whole party is so strong, it's ridiculous. Like, and they're not even like, what, how far into the, the journey? Maybe like a tenth into their journey? Who knows? Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, they're, it's supposedly gonna take them ten years, so they're, they're about a tenth. Maybe like a, I don't know, a fifth. I don't know. Anyway, overall, a very good episode, and I am definitely looking forward to the next Anyway guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.